Hello, my friends. I will make this practice in English so the foreign students have the opportunity uh, to can follow that practice. And I hope that you all good there in your houses. Now with the coronavirus, uh, we need to move our body. We need to keep healthy our mind. So we have to keep on practicing. Uh, even if you don't feel that you want to get out of your couch, um, it's okay, just take five or 10 minutes uh, to do your own practice, whatever you like to do, even to meditate, just take your practice every day and I swear you will feel much, much better. Okay, in this practice we are going to awaken our spine, we are going to move in several directions and uh, we will uh, attend some twists and back bends, hope you will enjoy. So, let's start. Leave your palms smoothly. Close your eyes for the first breaths. And take your gaze inwards. Start to observe your body. Observe your breath. Without judging, just observing for now. Every thought that comes in the mind, just observe it and leave it aside for now. And bring your consciousness to your breath. Let's connect our breathing, completely exhale. Deep inhalation. Exhalation. Deep inhalation. Bring the air up to your body. Activate a little bit. Udyanavanda and exhale slowly. Deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. The next is exhalation. Leave everything that you don't need in the ground. And open your eyes slowly. With your gaze, surrender wherever it looks. Start to move your body slowly, inhale, raise your arms up, exhale, go to your right side, palm to the ground, push and lengthen the left side, inhale to the center, lengthen, exhale to the left, lengthen the right side, inhale, Exhale, push the palm to the ground and feel your left side having space. Inhale to the center one more time. Exhale to the left, last one. Inhale to the center. Exhale, big circle, status arm. Create space around the back. Connect your fingers. Inhale. Expand your chest to the sky. Exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. Kids up. Eyes closed if you feel better. Exhale. And the elbows round the back one more time. 
Release any tension in your spine. Inhale, create space. Exhale in. Inhale, raise your arm, lengthen. Exhale, come to a tabletop, spread your fingers. Bring the knees under the hips. Inhale, raise your chest up. Exhale smoothly, come all the way down, no pressure, just come all the way to the ground. Bring your tip, fingertips to the ground and find the space between your vertebrae. Leave your head down and start on your spine. Inhale, round the back. Keep the head relaxed. Create space. Inhale, look up. Exhale, head last, chest to the ground. Smoothly, gently smell on the ground. Round the back, head last. Inhale, in, engage your ribcage and raise your head up. Exhale, release the chest down. Just move the spine slowly. Inhale, create some movement and space. Round the back. Until the chest looks up, exhale, release the chest down. Bring the palms parallel to each other, elbows under the shoulders with sphinx pose, release the hips, don't create any tense that your body doesn't need for now. Bring your shoulders back and pull them back, pull your elbows back, create space, open, look up a little bit and lift your shoulders back, inhale, and start to move your head, just to make some movement in the neck, slowly. Don't press anything. Small rounds, half rounds, inhale, half rounds, down. That feels good, believe me, round, inhale, round, in. Last time, inhale, and to the other side, inhale, exhale all the way down, come to the ground, inhale, lay the cobra length in the spine, exhale, back to child's pose, and slowly unfold the spine, round the back, inhale, raise your head to the sky, sitting bones to the sky, exhale, chest and chin down, Inhale, slide, open your heart to Cobra. Exhale, tap your toes and slowly go back to down dog. If you feel that your body wants to move, make any movement you want in down dog. You can press one heel at a time to walk your down dog. Push firmly the inner side of your palms in the ground. Feel your spine lengthening. We're going to focus on our spine in that practice, so concentrate to create space, lengthen, push the arms, lengthen the spine. And from the movement, just get to stillness, breathe, move through, through your, your breath now. Inhale, gaze forward, bend the knees, exhale, walk. Slowly your feet between your hands. Inhale, look up, create space. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, slowly unfold the spine, arms to the sky. Exhale, push the palms together and now step. Inhale, raise your arms up. Let's continue with our sun salutation. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, look up, great space. Exhale, right, big step back, knee on the ground. Inhale, open the chest, release the hips. Exhale, both knees down, chest and chin. Close elbows. Inhale, Ujangasana. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg between the palms. You can always. Bring your leg, knee on the ground, 
release the hips. Exhale the left leg in front, Uttanasana. Inhale, Uttahastasana. Gaze on the thumbs, lengthen. Exhale, Namaste. Inhale up. And a little bit back, maybe. Exhale, fall forward all the way down. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, take step, left leg back, knee on the ground. Inhale, hips down over the chest. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Shoulders over, chest and chin down. Keep your hips up. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg between the hands, knee on the ground. Release the hips over the chest. Exhale, right leg in front, Uttanasana. Inhale, Uddha Hastasana. Find the space, lengthen, exhale, Namaste. Inhale, again, raise your arms. Exhale, all the way down, Uttanasana. Inhale, create space, gaze up. Exhale, right leg back, knee on the ground. Raise your arms now, inhale. Raise your arms. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, Bhutanasana. Exhale, downward. Inhale, right leg in front, knee on the ground. We're going to warm up, so we have the flow now. Exhale, left leg in front, Uttanasana. Inhale up. Exhale, Namaste. Keep your breath alive, inhale up. Exhale, all the way down, fall forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, left leg, back knee on the ground. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, cobra, open your heart. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg in front, knee on the ground. Raise your arms, Anjaniasana. Exhale, right leg in front, Uttanasana. Divide the core, lengthen the spine. Inhale, raise your arms. Chest to the sky, open the heart. Exhale, Namaste. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, fall forward. Let's build up, inhale, halfway. Exhale, let's float back or jump or step back for now. Whatever you feel comfortable, you can step one leg at a time. Exhale, tap your arm back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back. Five breaths. We want to feel the space in our body, so push the hands firmly in the ground and feel that you engage your triceps so that you don't collapse in your shoulder blades and lift your hips up. Push to the length and create space in the spine. Chest to the thighs, push to open. Push the hips on the ground. If they are not tapping the ground, it's okay, but you have the sensation of always pushing the heels on the ground. Gaze in front, bend the knees, you can jump or step forward. Jump, lengthen, inhale, exhale forward. Inhale, raise your arms, exhale, now step. Inhale, again, open. Exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, float back in your way. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Here, let's create some more space. Bend the knee and push. Lift your hips up. Sitting bones, look at the sky. Press the chest to the thighs. Keep this sensation in the chest and push the hips down. Inhale, bend. 
Keep pushing the arms. Exhale, heels at the ground. And push. And exhale. The top of the head feels like it's going to go to the ground. It doesn't need to go to the ground. But this is the pain to open the shoulders. Gaze in front, bend the knees, inhale, exhale, fall forward, inhale, gets up, lengthen, exhale, namaste, bend the knees, connect the thumbs and the index finger, inhale, open, the elbows are attracting to each other, exhale, create space around the back, inhale, open the chest, Exhale, inhale, open the chest, expand, exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana, inhale, gaze up, exhale, your own way, low, exhale, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Exhale, knee to the opposite armpit, to the same armpit, big circle. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, one more. Big circle to warm up the hip. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, big step forward, left heel on the ground. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, come to the ground. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Still gently, left knee on the ground. Just and chin, keep pushing that right leg in front. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down the Inhale, lift your left leg. Bend the knee, exhale, twist to the right arm back, to the left, big circle, inhale, exhale, twist, last one, inhale, exhale, in, inhale up, exhale, big step in front, right hip to the ground, inhale, warrior one, gaze on the thumbs, Exhale, palms down. Inhale, lift your left leg back. Exhale, right knee gently to the ground. Chest and chin, bend the knee. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down. And pass. Keep connected to your breath. Find stillness, but feel your breath moving. The entire body guiding the whole practice. Gaze in front, bend the knees, jump. Inhale, exhale, fall forward. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Namaste. Bend the knees, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, gaze up, exhale, fold back in your own way. Inhale, up, up, exhale, down. Inhale, right leg in front, left heel on the ground, warm one, stay. Bend the front knee, keep pushing the outer edge of the left foot on the ground. Bring the right thigh parallel to the ground, gaze on your thumbs open. Last inhale, exhale, interlace the fingers. Inhale, open the chest, slide, create space. Exhale, humble warrior. Bring the right shoulder inside of your right knee and bend the knee. Keep your hips forward, push the hands in front. No for the big toe. It doesn't have to touch the big toe. It's okay, just bend. Keep pushing the hands. 
Release and tense to the shoulders, push. Inhale, raise up. And move your weight in front towards three. If your hands are difficult here, you can open, you can bring them here. Find your variation. Square the hips as much as you can. Activate the back leg. Keep the chest high. Lift the left leg as much as you can. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Hands down. Standing straight. Just step as you lift the leg up. Inhale, look up. Bend the front knee. Big step back. Exhale. Arms to the ground. Bring the right leg in the left. Bend the knees. Exhale here. Inhale, lengthen them. Two more times. Exhale. Inhale. You can feel this foot lifting from the ground. Exhale. Inhale. You create a nice round shape in your right side. Push the right hand to the side. Inhale. Exhale. Chakranda. Inhale. Exhale. Stay down. Bring your hands. Your hips, arms, gaze at the sky, connect your heels, Salamasana, push the palms to the ground, lift your chest, lift your hips up. Feel that your knees want to connect it so that you straighten your knees as much as you can. Breathe. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down. Right hip to the ground, left leg in front. Inhale, warrior one. Keep a straight line on your heels or a little bit more open the right leg, but keep the hips square as much as you can. The left side parallel to the ground, gaze on the thumbs, the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, interlace the fingers. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, hump the water. And as much as you can, the left knee. Push the hands in front. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, move your weight forward. Lift your right leg. Warrior three. Square the hips, keep the chest lifted, keep the leg lifting, straight knee. Inhale, exhale, release to the ground, and variation to the hands in the warrior three. Lift the leg up, and look up, bend the front knee, big step back. Bring the legs to the right foot, assist asana, bend, exhale here. Inhale, find space to your left side. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Push. Up. Inhale. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Stay down. Interlace the fingers, point your heels, bend the shoulders, lengthen the hands, inhale everything up. Bring the hands over your hips. Don't push it into the hands. Bring it up. Feel your hands lift you back. And release. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward. On your breath. Take a moment. Inhale from the nose. Exhale from the mouth. One more. Feel some tension that you may be having in your body or in your breath. Find a nice and smooth breath again. 
Hands forward, bend the knees. Inhale, jump, left. Exhale, go forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, namaste. Open your big. In the, in the width of the mat, approximately open. So, in the edge of the mat, push your palms here to support your spectrum and close your elbows as much as you can. So, keep your, the elbows attracting to each other, keep your knees super straight, and start by supporting to push and hand open the chest. Activate the inner thighs first. Find space. Create space between your ribcage and your hips. Lengthen. Push in front. The elbows are attracted. Push open. Keep pushing in front. Straight knees. And come back. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Fall forward. Have your elbows release. Say yes and then roll with your head to feel that your neck is super relaxed. Palms to the ground. Inhale. Exhale. In your way. Jump or step back. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up top. Exhale. Down top. Inhale, lift your right leg back and bend the knee. Now your right shoulder has the tendency to open and go with your hip. Just keep the right shoulder pushing smoothly down to the ground so that you square your shoulders and keep the right hip pushing to your left side like the foot wants to touch the left tricep. And in here, exhale, bring the knee to the left armpit, and from there, just step your foot in front. Inhale, expand your chest to the sky, lift your left leg arm up, keep pushing with the right, but feel an opening to the heart, feel everything is expanding, open, inhale here, exhale, keep your feet straight, your knees straight, and you leave your hips to the ground. As is the first forward fall, feel gently, just go gently, any, in any height you feel comfortable. Just release. Maybe you want to grab your feet or look down. If you feel comfortable here, just stay here. Stay on your breath and feel lengthening the spine. Don't run the back, don't, don't turn the gaze inward, lengthen the spine. Inhale, come up, tap the right thumb down, and now again, lift the hips up, bring the left thumb down, and lift the left heel, inhale, right leg up. Keep the left heel up, bend the knee, Kamatkarasana and step your right leg. Inhale, open. Feel the opening in the heart. Turn all your body, looking at the sky. Push. Inhale. Lift your right knee up. Don't collapse. Feel the energy up to the sky. Don't collapse. And bring your right foot in front. Left knee to the ground. Interlace your fingers, turn mudra, and lift. Bring the hips down, open. Try to look back. Hips down. Again, create space for the hips. Lengthen. Look. Inhale, come back. Exhale, Ardha Hanuman. Flex the right foot. Bring the hip over the knee. Keep the, the hips square to each other. Lengthen again. Don't run the back. Don't release the energy of the 
Open the chest, keep this energy and lengthen from the navel to the arm and inhale. Inhale, keep breathing to create space. Inhale, create space. Exhale, engage the core, go further. This foot has the tendency to do an outward rotation. Keep it inward and keep the right hip pushing down. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, lift your hips to go all the way down. If you have any problem with that knee, you can turn your foot to Janashi Sasana or then you can keep them there, close to each other. Bring the right in and lift. If you're okay, grab your wrist, from Chasana. You can have this leg in a trip pose. Same variation. Inhale up, grab the right foot with the left hand, keep the chest lifted, keep your weight in the center, don't collapse back, don't have the back, keep your weight in the sitting mode and twist to look to gaze at your right palm, lengthen, again twist from the navel and up. Again, create space in the twist in here, space, exhale, twist more. Inhale in front, keep the right leg straight, exhale, go all the way in front. And from there, bring the left arm bit, twist. Parimita Parasvakonasana, give some space to your right thigh and bring the left arm bit out of your right thigh. Push. Now you can stay in Namaste, push the one back to the other, or push the palm to the ground if that's possible. Find your variation, tap your toe, and any variation, it's okay. If you really want to push the left heel down to go deeper, keep your right knee bending and pushing to the right side. Namaste is an option. Heel up is an option too, but activate the left thigh very good so that you don't have any issues with the balance. Inhalation, go up, exhale, come to the ground, push the left heel down like in warrior one, and lift the right leg up. This foot is twisted, don't keep the heel to the air, grab with the left hand, the left angle, and lift the right leg up, push. If you feel that you want to close a little bit, the distance close. The balance is here. Keep this leg pushing. Inhale, lift, plant, exhale, lay down. Just in chin, knee. Stay here, chill down. Push the leg in front. And slide. Inhale, exhale, down. Back to down. breath before we go to the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the knee. Keep the left shoulder a little bit dropping down. Keep the shoulder square open. Feel your foot go to grab the right tricep. Lengthen. Inhale. Exhale, bring to the opposite down. Step in front, expand. Open as much as you can. Feel the space in your right side. Inhale up, exhale, hips down. You can go a little bit deeper now if you feel okay. Go to deeper to your variation. It feels nice. It feels nice after some breaths. Inhale up, push your left palm down, sit your weight up, lift your right heel, palms down, and lift your leg, left leg up. 
bend the knee, lift the right heel, come up Karasana. Jump the toe and walk. Push. If you want to go to your variation to Madhana feel free. Any variation you have here, take some breaths more push. And inhale. And lift your left knee up. Lift, lift, and step forward into the ground. Inhale. Grab three fingers, index finger in the top, open, and push. Open on Jinyasana. Hips down. Find the length and again, find the space. Press, find the space, and then release. Inhale all the way back. Exhale out the hand and flex. Square the hips. Keep the foot flex. And your breath very active. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep pushing the left heel down and pulling the leg to your pocket. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, slide back, sit down. Again, you can bring your right foot in Janusha Sasana if you feel a tension in the knee. Or keep your knees connected. Keep your weight in the center. Grab your foot if you can grab your wrist. Lift. Lengthen. And then go fold to your arm. Activate the legs so the knee is super straight and lengthen. Don't collapse back. Don't go forward. Inhale up. Grab with the right hand. Lift the chest and twist. And the space. Push the left sitting down as much as you can in the ground. Then twist. From the left and up. Find that space. Inhale in front. Step the foot and go all the way. Inhale, bring the right arm, arm in the left thigh, create space with the left hand. And now again, you can have a step or a hand in the ground, tap the back toe. You can stay in any variation you wish. If you want, push the left hand to the ground or up. Keep pushing with that knee down and left. Find the space. Okay. Bring your right heel to the ground. Upward rotation to that foot. Otherwise, the balance is very difficult. Push the bones down. Lift the left leg up. And now, bring the right hand to grab inside from your right wrist. Push the left leg up. Maybe you find the balance in the beginning a little bit tricky, but it's challenging. For example, inhale, can pose right into the ground. Bend the left, just continue down, push. And release, inhale. Exhale, stay down. Then rest in the knees and grab your ankles. Don't leave your knees to open. Keep the big toes together. Curve and from there. Lift everything to the side. Open up. Open the shoulders too. Push. Your elbows want to connect to each other. 
Push your hips in front and up. Keep pushing, open. Inhale, come up, head last, take a breath. We're going to go for stress and a common pose. If you feel that this was very tenseful, just stay in that variation. If you feel that you feel that you have opened, then you can go to any further variation of Shrasana. You can tap your toes, then grab the hips, or just lift the foot down. Okay, find space, lengthen, exhale, grab. Push with the part of the hips, and don't pull out your hips. Push in front. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Close your eyes, take some breath. Inhale from the nose. Exhale from the mouth. Inhale. Down, we're going to take our vinyasa and down, you can jump back. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down. Inhale, raise your right leg, exhale, take step in front, left heel on the ground, close your step a little bit. Inhale, lengthen the spine, square the hips. Square the hips as much as you can. You activate this right thigh. Push the left palm on the ground. If you cannot, just grab your seam or the outside. If you're going to go in further and twist by with the tripodasana. Keep this pulling down in the back and twist from the navel. Look at your right palm. Gaze forward, move your left palm, half mirror in front, lift your left leg, Parimita Patandasana, square the hips, lift the leg, flex it a little more comfortable, bend the knee, and grab it with the right hand that it is in the air, and lift. You can push your leg. Gaze down, connect your knees, bring the knee, the left, outside of the right angle, and sit down. Push both hips on the ground, both sitting bones, lengthen the spine again, find that space, keep pushing with, the, with your pelvis down, inhale, exhale, twist. Keep this as a second spine, pushing down and lengthen. If you are okay, you can grab your wrist from here. But again, don't leave the weight back. Keep pushing and to lengthen. Inhale, gaze in front. Interlace, counterbalance a little bit in your left side. Move your weight forward. Lift your left leg again up, standing split. Open as much as you can. Create space. Bend the front knee. Big step back. And inhale, lift. Connect again. Come to the index finger. Open the chest. X. Create some space around the back. Inhale. Inhale, up and stay. Feel your elbows. Want to connect. Open the chest. Bend your knee if you want some space and stretch. Inhale, exhale back to the ground. Straight your front leg. And again, keep space on your spine. 
in Kelly Pen. Grab the big toe, we're going to go for the full pass and a variation. If you don't have this in your practice, you can take any other variation of side plan. So come here, open, and straight up. If you cannot, you can come to a tree pose or continue with the normal pass and both legs down. It's a balanced story. Keep up. It's not easy. If you talk, gaze up. Gaze up. Gaze up. And big step and turn. Knee on the ground. Release again. Hips down. And bend. Back leg. Bring the hand from inside of the foot. And pull your heel to the hip. From there, try to square and move forward. If you can, the fingers want to look in front. And the elbow goes up. If you feel that you have any other variation here, you can push the elbow and wrap. Open. Or if you have in your practice your full variation, grab your foot, you can go in. Exhale. 
y G O P. Nice. 
Let's counterbalance with some poses. Let's release. Bend the knees. It's okay for the first forward fold. Just release. And breathe. Make a roll, come all the way up. Let's go up. Okay, if you have your practice, any handstand or elbow stand, you can give it a try now if you feel comfortable. Otherwise, you can close the practice here. Okay? I'll show you some variations from elbow stand and then from handstand and then choose yours. You can do any pull back that you have to look there. And go. You can one leg at a time, just hang from your shoulders. Which is it. Bend the knees in an open Badagonasana. Round the back and just feel your head head. Come up. Straight right leg. Cross the left. Open the right, fall forward, release. Grab with the right hand the left knee, stretch your left hand, create space, lengthen, flex the toe, and start to spiral your spine. Twist to look under your left shoulder, armpit. Look at the sky under your armpit. Try to bring the right shoulder to the ground. This is the tendency. Twist. Inhale up. And switch sides. Straight. Cross the left. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. And bring open your knee. Forward fold. Keep both sides pushing at the ground. Just 
the side to the straight leg has a tendency to lift the hip up, push down, grab with your left hand the right knee, and big semicircle to the right hand, flex your foot. If you don't grab, you can do anything here. It's okay. And this pins, and again, twist. Come up, exhale, release, smoothly lay down, bring the knees to the chest, make small movements, right, left, back and forward, grab your feet, push the knees near to the armpits, happy baby, this baby should be happy so keep the heels over the knees, don't close them a lot, don't open them a lot, just to release the lower back in the ground. Nice, straight legs, push, roll over, bring the feet back, keep the knees straight, push the shoulders down, neutralize the fingers if you can, and lift the hips up, create space. And the knees smoothly hug whatever you feel it's okay. And Pranashuk Tapashimutanasana slowly all the way down. Release the legs. Take a deep inhalation. And release your legs to the ground. Find a nice posture to get to Savasana. If you've got your body, it's a little bit of counterbalancing. Feel free to take any posture that you want. But for now, take a deep inhalation. Exhale, release everything to the ground. One more. Your arms, your feet, your head, turn side to that side, bend your knees, come slowly to your right side, to the end of the position, and help yourself come into a seated position. Keep your eyes closed, connect the palms in the center of the heart. Take a deep inhalation, thank your body for letting you be in that practice. And with a bow, 
Send your energy for everybody to be healthy and happy. Namaste, Yogi. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy.